Oh yeah, Garden of Life, baby. Oh yeah, welcome back to another video, guys. Today is a good day. It is my day off. It is Wednesday, and we are going to be reacting to a video that about eight people sent me yesterday. And uh, it's uh, it says, I called DoorDash and asked if Para was allowed. <laughs> so my first thought is like, Bro, what the fuck? You don't call the police and ask if you can drink and drive. But I guess we're going to see what happens. So shout out to uh, Ride Upstate for this video. I know he watches my channel. So let's check out this video, Mr. Ride Upstate. I'm a little confused as to why you would call and ask, but man, if we start getting deactivated, I'm blaming you, bro. I'm blaming you. Anyway, so before we get started, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you smash the bar link down below and download it. So that way we can make this video a little bit riskier because who knows what's going to happen by the end of the video. Are we all going to get deactivated? Are they going to be like, yeah, yeah, you can't use uh, apps that give you full tip transparency like you probably should be able to anyways. But anyway, so if you guys haven't yet, make sure you smash that par link. Uh, it's at the top of my description. If you guys haven't yet, that app gives you full tip transparency because DoorDash likes to hide your tips. And uh, let's just hope that Ride Up State didn't screw this up for all of us. Before we get started, I gotta switch. I gotta switch my camera battery real quick. Be right back. All right. All right. Check this out. Before we get this video started, we got this new microphone. It was expensive. It was like 150 bucks. And uh, so now we're really stepping up the the. The quality here at the Daily Dash Hotel apartment. Apartment, no, hotel. Um, anyway, so also real quick, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys check out my supplement sponsor, Garden of Life. They've been sending me supplements for the last five or six years, and they are the best supplements. And I'm not just saying that because they sponsor me. I'm saying it because they are seriously the best. They're all organic. You guys are going to put some stuff in your body. You want the organic, non-GMO stuff, and that is Garden of Life. So... Enough said, let's get started in this video. God damn it, right upstate. Why would you call and ask about this though? All right, let's get this video started. So I recently saw this in the Tip Transparency Forum on Facebook, and I thought, why not give DoorDash a call and find out if it's true? Hey, my name is John from Ride Upstate, and today I'm going to be doing something I only usually do when I'm on a dash and I have trouble. I'm calling DoorDash support, and I'm going to find out what they say about the Para app, if anything. Now, I know that this is dependent on who I get on the phone, and so we'll just have to see how it goes. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to put the uh, phone number right here. Keep that handy in the event that you can't get into your app. So, it is 855-973. 1040 if you are in the United States. Here we go. Put that on speaker. All right, so first of all, no matter what, it's not like he's actually talking to someone from DoorDash. These are most likely like people in India or China or something, and I can almost 100% guarantee you whoever answers the phone is going to have some kind of accent, and I'm not trying to sound racist. Don't paint me as a race. I'm just saying, legitimately, companies outsource these things to, like, India or China. And that's very, very common. I used to work for Razor. And trust me, I sometimes would call Razor customer service, and uh, I would get a guy in India. And I'd be like, uh, can I get on the corporate? They're like, oh, this is corporate. I'm like, no, bro, I work at corporate. Like, can you get me someone in corporate? And they're like, oh, okay, okay. But, uh, so... You have to take it with a grain of salt because who knows what's actually going to happen and who knows like if they say is what they say is legitimate, but we'll see. Thank you for calling DoorDash. To continue in English, press 1. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. If you are a customer, please press 1. Nope. If you are a dasher, please press 2. I'm a if dasher. Are, please hold while we retrieve your details. <laughs> Okay, wait. I have to pause it. That was funny. 
I'm a dasher. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is already kind of funny because it's so like we're watching someone make a phone call to a customer service. And then he's probably going to be put on hold for a really long time. So I may just skip this whole part. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So they're doing a reverse caller ID lookup. Always call from the phone that has your uh, number on it. Yes, hello. Thank you for calling Premium Dasher Support. This is Abby. How can you help? Pause. Called it. Oh my gosh, she's totally from like China or something, or I don't know. She's from somewhere for sure, because you can, you can kind of barely understand what she's saying, you know. Anyways, all right. <laughs> all right. This video is actually kind of funny. All right, let's continue. Hi, Abby. Um, I have a, a question about uh, an app that I'm using. Uh, that works with DoorDash. It's called Para, and I uh, I use it to track my earnings. No, no, no! Don't name it. Oh man! Now they're gonna know the name, and they're gonna do some more research. Oh man! Right up, state. You blew it. You blew it for all of us. Ah, oh, god damn it! All right, let's Thanks. continue. And it also gives me some additional information about uh, the the trips when they come up. Is is that an app that's that I'm allowed to use? Is that against the terms of service? Thank you for this information. Let me go ahead and help you now on your concern here. Okay, but may I know what is your email address? Sure, it's. All right. Thank you. Can I please put you on hold for a moment? Oh, bro. Oh, man. You just gave them your email address, and they're going to be, like, deactivated. Nah, they're probably not, but let's... Oh, my God, bro. You gave them your email address and everything. You just you just admitted to being guilty. Just admitted your guilt. Never admit your guilt under any circumstances. If you get pulled over by the cops, just quick, quick little tip for you guys. If you guys ever get pulled over by the cops... Do not ever admit anything. That is totally off topic. Just learned it from my attorney when I had to deal with this freaking case. Anyways, so let's continue. Certainly. All right, thank you. I was surprised how fast they picked up. And they said premium support. I'm definitely keeping this number. There's the whole music. Maybe I was just muted earlier. Okay, pause. <laughs> okay, this video is actually like hilarious because of how awkward he is in front of the camera at points. It's actually hilarious. Oh, man. This video is underrated. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you go uh, check out the Ride Upstate channel. I think he's a new YouTuber. I'm going to move this away from the mic so you can actually hear me. <laughs> it's pretty loud. You know, it'd be funny, not funny, but if he got deactivated, or not deactivated, if his video got demonetized because of this music, and that also makes me think, maybe I should probably mute that music so I don't get my channel demonetized because of the music. <laughs> he also reminds me of this, I was just watching this interview the other day. And it has this clip about Bill Gates dancing and it's like super awkward and it's like, bro, never trust someone who dances like that. <laughs> All right, let's, let's continue. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Cool Jazz in the Evening here on WDSH. Your Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry it took too long. We already moved forward your concern here to a specialized team and uh, based on the response that we received to them, it is applicable and you can use this uh, to track your earnings on your end. So I can use it to track my earnings? Yes, yes, Jen. Okay, so it also um, can give me additional... Wait. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? You can use it? You can use it. Guys, you can use it. Woo! Did not see that one coming. What? 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 When you, th when it's, well, this is one of those moments where you think like, you're like, ah, uh, trying something and you're like, there's no way this is going to work out. And then it does. And you're like, well, that was unexpected. What? Well, well, this changes everything, guys. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you smash that link at the top of the description and download the PAR app because we can all get tip transparency now, baby. We're free. And if anything happens, you can use this video. Man, Right Upstate just like came through with some evidence that can get you guys all undeactivated if you guys got deactivated. But no one's getting deactivated, so let's just be honest. No one, no one has been deactivated. And obviously, because you can't get deactivated because they allow you to use the app. Let's see how far this one goes, but, well, this is very interesting. This is a quick turn of events for sure information about the trip because every you know whenever uh i get trip information it doesn't always show the the full amount that i'm being paid and this app can do that so is that against the terms of service no no john since you are an independent contractor here on our end it is not a uh, this is not a uh, this is not illegal here on our end okay all right well thanks thank you very much for answering my question abby you're always welcome. And then, Jen, if you have any concern, please feel free to contact us again, okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right, bye for now. Okay, bye-bye. So there you go. She checked, and she said, because we're independent contractors, we are allowed to use the Para app to track our earnings and to see the full amount of the payout. So, will you get deactivated for using PARA? I think the answer is clear now. No, you won't. That's it from me for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you have to settle for small profits. And I messed that up, but that's okay. Because it's just a video, right? Bye. Wow, interesting, interesting video. All right, all right. You did it, right, Upstate? You did it. You really did something good for the community. And at the video, at the beginning of this video, I would have slapped you and thrown your phone away and said, Don't do it! Don't do it! But, all right, all right. I was wrong, and I guess uh, we were right. Well, I mean, I've been saying this whole time, no one's going to get deactivated. But I was like, I was like 90% sure, but now I'm 100% sure. So, thank you. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys check out Right Upstate's channel. I will link it at the top of the description. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you smash that par link, download the tip transparency, and uh, yeah. Cool. What a great day. What a great way to start off this day. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out my footwear company at offaxisathletics.com. And also, make sure you subscribe and smash the like button. We'll see you. Peace.